Welcome to another edition of Inside Athletics brought to you by the IAAF. I'm your host, Atto Bolden, and I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the desert southwest, site of the 2013 U.S. Indoor National Championships. You know, sometimes in this business, you just flat out get lucky, and we got lucky. Our very first scheduled guest on Inside Athletics is a young lady who in Beijing got silver in the Olympic pole vault. And last year at the London Olympic Games, she got gold. Last night at the Albuquerque Convention Center, she became one of only two women ever to go over five meters in the pole vault, indoors or out, setting the now existing world record. We have the very first interview since she's done that. Here's Jen Shore. Jen, welcome to Inside Thank Athletics. You. Congratulations on last evening. Thank you. Very what is it about Albuquerque why you always seem to come and jump well here? I think, you know, coming the indoor season, this is the most important meet I have. So everything is scheduled to peak for this meet. My training is, you know, set right up for, you know, indoor nationals. That's the most important meet on my schedule. Now, is there a part of you, I know obviously you turned your Beijing silver mm -hmm. into London gold. Is there a part of you, though, that says, okay, so I have the medal that I've always wanted. But I also want to defeat Isen Bayeva when she's at her best. Um, you know, I think everyone wants that. Everyone wants, you know, to be on top. And it's really, you know, staying with it. There's so many ups and downs in pole vault. And you go through so many hard times and good times. And it's staying with it. And, um, you know, I think it's perseverance. And from Beijing, a silver to a gold in London, that's what it was. It was just persevering through everything. Does it feel better when you get the gold after the silver? I wouldn't know. I only got the silver. <laughs> but does it feel better when you get the gold after winning the silver? Because I remember remember the disappointment on that track. I yeah. mean, your husband was really disappointed. You know, he talked about you getting stuck in the meat grinder. I'll never forget those lines yeah. as long as I live because everybody else felt like, wow, it's a silver medal. Yeah. And he knew you had the potential for gold. Does it feel better because you got the silver first? Yes, you know, we were happy with the silver. And, um, you know, it was a frustrating time not executing what I needed to. But, you know, first Olympics to get silver, we were very ecstatic about that. And we knew next, you know, in London, we wanted gold. So everything was set up. We knew hype progressions what we wanted to do was to go for gold not anything else and you talked about some of those hard times you were a standout basketball player and then you got you got to take got you know got got taken to, to Rick mm -hmm. and there were some really lean years back in the day um, I read about you know Rick having to actually mm -hmm. mortgage his house at one yep. point what is it that he saw in you even maybe before you saw it in yourself you know, I think he he knows his ability to coach, first of all. He yeah. knows what he can do with an athlete. He knows, you know, he believes 100% in his technique that he teaches and his coaching. And he just, you know, felt that, okay, you know, I was I could run, you know, I was tough. And I think he saw that and he knew that he could just, you know, pretty much build off of that. And, you know, ha having not vaulted, I didn't have any bad habits either. So he taught me from day one the good habits and what to do and how to move poles. And, you know, so I think it was, you know, his belief in myself and he makes you believe he's just a coach that makes you believe that you can do things right. now I spent a lot of years at UCLA watching the dynamic between Jackie Joyner Kersey and Bobby Kersey mm -hmm. what is that like being coached by the person that you're married to you know it's hard at times we especially because our facility is right in our backyard so we have to learn how to separate our personal life you know and pole vault life but when things are on top like yesterday you know you have one person to celebrate it with and you know just the same thing with the gold in London it's just two people working so hard for one goal and when it happens it's emotional like it's just I can't describe it we just cried it was just so emotional just having you know just the he knows what I've gone through he knows how much I wanted it he knows you know the hardships of it and he knows that it was achieved so you know to have that person behind you it means so much yeah I think with the exception of uh, maybe Felix Sanchez you guys cried the most <laughs> in London but yeah. it, was, it was amazing to see <laughs> now let's talk a little bit of track talk now yeah. You're now over five meters. Mm -hmm. Is that a big psychological barrier? You know, in track and field, there's so many clubs. There's a sub 10 club for yep. 100 meter guys, the sub 44 club. Your club has all of two people now that, that over five meters. Is that a big barrier for now, for you now? It is a big barrier. I think, um, you know, I, I read all the time, oh, only one person has cleared five meters. And I was like, okay, I don't want to read that anymore. Right. And I knew that I wanted to do something about it. And I knew I was capable. That's the thing that I just knew I was not jumping to my potential. And I came out of Milrose um, in February 
and I was disappointed. I jumped 465 and I was disgusted with myself. Mm. And I said, I told Rick, I was like, it's time for me to go to the next level because this isn't going to cut it. And we did. And I just went and I started training. And, you know, you have to, there's points that athlete reach, an athlete reaches that they push themselves further than what's comfortable. And that's what I did. And I broke through this barrier that I had. And so I knew five meters was possible. I just had to break through it. Is there something that's happened specifically in training? You said taking it to the, yep. to the next level. Is there something specific that's happened in training where you went, you know what, if I feel like this, mm -hmm. when I go to Albuquerque, yep. it's going to be trouble. Yeah, you know, it is. I jumped into me a week ago and I jumped a 484, but I just knew what I was doing technically. I knew what it felt like and I, I had it in my head and the feeling. A pole vaulter, you know, does it more by feeling and I knew what it felt like and I knew if I was healthy here, I could execute it, that I had a good chance of jumping, but it's pole vault too. So yeah. I wasn't going to call out anything until it happened. <laughs> otherwise, yeah. you'd be a sprinter. Yeah. Now, you're gonna, you're gonna, you got to help me here with my metric. Yeah. 5.02 is 16.6. Six, correct it's like 16 five and a half I believe 16 five and a half okay so now you're over the five meter barrier and now your indoor PR is is, is higher than your outdoor mm -hmm. what does last night's performance tell you about what you're capable of doing outdoors because you have yes. to be thinking world record now yes and it, it told me a lot it's I watched the video and I was just like wow there's so much I can improve on and I wasn't on a huge pole I wasn't jumping on huge poles last night I've been on bigger poles than that and I'm taking a one less left than I normally take right. so I mean to, to come and do that that means okay I've become this much more efficient technically now when I put it all together with the speed and you know good conditions and stuff I mean I, I hope for big things but it's a stepping stone you got to stay healthy though yeah now a lot of people hear us talk about on the air she has to go up to the next pole just if you could yes, quickly definitely. explain to the lay person what yep. that means when we talk about going up to the next pole going up to the next pole means a stiffer pole it's like in golf where you don't know if you want to hit your nine iron or your eight iron and so, you know, it's very much where, okay, I need something a little bit stiffer to slow me down, like a stiffer pull so I don't go into the bar. It needs uh, to raise me more than shoot me out to the bar. So that's what it is. It's just a poundage. So, yeah. So you, did you guys celebrate last night, the world record, a lot of tears shed last night? Or no, no it, honestly, it was very, um, you know, I think it was something that I wanted. That was a goal coming in and I don't want to say expected, but we knew, you know, it was a good shot of it. So last night it was very quiet. We were just, just hung out with some friends sat there went to bed and woke up in the morning and you know it, it was um I don't know, it was just, I think, business, yeah, <laughs> if yeah. that makes sense. Exactly, exactly. Yep. Now, um, you have how many competitions now? Obviously, there's no world indoors. Yes. Do you almost wish like you had somewhere you had somewhere else to go vault next week? You know, I was looking at a meet last week, and um, I was ready to go, but after this meet, I'm good for the season. I'm done, um, you know, and it's, I have Drake Relays coming up in right. a month, which I signed on for, so, you know, I'm going to take a break and go to the Drake Relays and start my outdoor season. Season. So next time we'll see you is outdoors. Yep. Yep. Well, you can follow her at Jen Shore on Twitter. Yes. Her Facebook page. Go and like her. And Jen, we want to yeah. thank you so much for joining us. You are our very first individual guest on Inside Athletics. Very nice. We we're so proud of what you've been able to do here, and all the best outdoors. Thank you very much. My thanks to Jen Shore for stopping by and chatting with me. Congratulations to her on her brand spanking new world record. On your screen now is how you can continue to interact with us via Facebook, email, and on Twitter. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time here on Inside Athletics.